Patton is a graduate <laughs> film student at USC. Was a film student at USC. Why did you decide to make the move to go in front of the camera instead of behind? That's a really good question. Um, yeah, I wanted to be a filmmaker. I went to USC Film School summer program. I made a couple short films there. And then I went there as a college student, graduated, and I did all kinds of work, PA work, assistant work. And then I had a really great boss at Discovery Health Network that allowed me to work my way up and to producing and shooting for him. But when the show ended, I don't know what happened. I just didn't have that passion you're supposed to have to do this job, to, to be a filmmaker. It, you have to want it so badly. And I kept procrastinating. I kept on saying, I'm writing a script. I really wasn't. I was watching a lot of daytime television. <laughs> I was going out a lot. <laughs> and after a year of unemployment and being kind of a loser, um, I just, I was sitting at my desk pretending, trying to write, and I thought, why are you doing this? You know, stop lying to yourself. You have nothing to prove. What did you love to do since you were a little girl? And since I was a little girl, I loved to act. I would put on plays in my parents' backyard and act out all the parts. And I went to performing arts high school where I did the school plays and all that. And so I just was sitting there and I thought, I have nothing to lose. And I really don't care what anybody else thinks. And here my parents had paid for film school education. I'm in LA and now I want to be an actress. Ugh, how cliche. But, um, Screw it. So um, I started taking lessons and I thought, well, you know what, I'll be really honest with myself if this is not what I'm, my calling. But I started taking lessons and classes and, and I knew I had found, I finally found the shoe that fit. And um, I found my passion. And then that's what happened. So after you read the script, um, what did you think and what did you want to bring to the character, Miss Rain? You know, when I read the script, um, after I read the script, I cried, and I knew it was an amazing, amazing film. And uh, I actually, I really wanted to play Gabby's part. I was like, that would be great. <laughs> I'm too old. And too, uh, there's a whole host of things. And I thought, I don't know about this Miss Rain. I don't know how to play her. I didn't know, I was afraid of her. I didn't know how to make it. It's, I, I just didn't know how to come about it. And I was scared for a little while to be honest with you. And then I met with Lee, and I fell in love with Lee, and I just was like, I have to do it. I just, I gotta take a, you know, jump in, it's a challenge. And my mom was a school teacher for 35 years in the public school system here in Los Angeles, and I thought, I had my mom read it, and she loved it, she cried. I thought, well, in honor of my mother, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna tackle it. But I told Lee, I said, I need to find a real person who does this profession so that I could really I don't know, get the nuances of it. It had been a long time since I'd been in high school. <laughs> so um, we found this wonderful woman, Janet Jones, in New York City, um, who taught at a similar school to the one that you see in the film. It's co-ed, but it's an alternative school. And she allowed me to shadow her for weeks and ask her lots of questions. And I, I was back in a schoolroom again. And just what, you, what do you write on the board? And how do you talk to the students? And it really helped inform the character. And then, of course, Mr. Daniels is a sculptor, and you come in with you know, all your tools and everything you've learned, and then he, um, he molds you into what he wants you to be, thank God, and that's what happened. Can you talk a little bit more? The, this role was, is a bit different from your other roles. You really play this character um, of hope for mm. Precious, and I always felt um, Precious was in a safe place when she was in Mrs. Rain's um, class. So can you talk about being like that provider of hope? Huh. I don't know. I didn't um, approach the role thinking of that, to be honest with you. Um, I'm a nurturing, nurturing soul. That's my nature, I think. Right? <laughs> I, mean, I, I fell in love with Gabby the first day I met her. You know, we just hit it off. I just I cared about her like a, a sister still do, you know? And that was easy. That was the easy part. And loving all the girls in the classroom, I really, I really have to say that the girls in the classroom, just a shout out to how amazing those actresses were. They were just <laughs> phenomenal and they made my job so much easier because they all came in like method actors and a lot of them had never even been in a film before. Jermaine, the girl who plays the, the boyish person, 
<laughs> shocked me. I mean, we were a week into production, and she just came out. She had long hair, and she was going to go meet her boyfriend. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And Gabby did the same thing. Gabby was always in character for the first week, I think, before I started to break. We started to break and talk more. And I she was, was afraid like, of you for the first you week. You were? Yeah. <sighs> so Crazy. So we didn't talk because I didn't like you. You didn't like me? <laughs> I liked you. I was afraid. I, I was afraid to look stupid now it in front comes of you. Out. No, I you be love telling you all your secrets up always. here. Oh, okay. Always. Well, Gabby then was like, girl, I'm going to get my nails done. And did you watch The Hills? Can you believe what's happening on Flavor of Love? And I was like, what? Stop snorkeling. <laughs> And I was just, I was blown away because Gabby here is a prodigy. I mean, she just changed the way she walked, the way she talked, her whole mannerism. I mean, it just floored me. So I don't know. I'm not answering your question. I'm, I'm just, okay. I just, I just fell in love with all the girls in the class in many ways. I was so blown away by their talent. And it, in many ways, I, I did know that I needed to separate myself from them. They were all very close and good friends, and I knew I wouldn't be able to do lunches and chit chat because to establish that I was the authoritarian figure in the, you know, relationship with all of them, that we would only really hang out on set and maybe the makeup trailer. And um, uh, but I guess it just came natural that I I loved them and cared about them. But I didn't approach it going, oh, I'm the hope. I need to bring the hope. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just didn't do it.